hey people, what's happening? I'm back. You know what I say, you know what I do, and you know what I'm about to. You know what? I do have a tendency to lose my lines, but check this. Moving on once and upwards with the show. We must go. So, what I'm talking to you guys today about, check this out, an effective way to learn. There's only methods out there of learning, but what are the methods that are really effective? Well, I want to share something with you. Something that a friend of mine said. Rather than sitting someone down and going through a book, step by step, and whatever have you, uh, kind of lost my flow there. Guys, let me retract one second. So, as I was saying, an effective way of learning, check this, is by reinforcing, reinforcing your memory. You know how, how you do that? Doing things over and over again, repetition over and over again. These are the most effective ways to learn. These are the most simplest and basic ways of learning. Learn one thing. Repeat over and over again until it gets drilled inside your head, until you're ready to move on. It's about reinforcing the memory. I'll tell you what, if, if, if I want to sum up all of learning, learning is about repetition after one, after another, again and again and again. You can apply this teaching method in so many different areas of life, even in habits. Repetition, learning, habits, it's all linked and tied together. This is how you enforce the memory, this is how you learn effectively. It's about working on memory capacity because once the memory is enforced, a habit is, is built in place and then from a habit which has been built, built in place, that takes place, then you're moving on to new things. That's how it works. Repetition after repetition, time and time again. It's like exercising again that you're doing X amount of reps, X amount of sets, over and over again until the body, the mind, the soul gets familiarised with whatever it is that it's doing and then it does something different. And when it does something different, it tries to familiarise itself and then once it starts to familiarise itself, things get smoother. And all of a sudden that you're flowing, that you're learning at a faster, rapid speed, at a rate. And therefore that you're developing, you're moving forwards. So therefore the first stage is, is trying to familiarise itself with something new. Well, what is this? What is this about? And then once it conjures up and it familiarises the format, the layout of whatever it is that it's trying to learn. Once it's got it on lock through repetition over and over and again, then it moves on. That is what it's about. Reinforcing your memory. But how you reinforce your memory is by not learning one too many things at the same time. Uh, uh, uh. Learn one thing, master that, then move on to something else. That is one of many ways of effective learning, my friend. Rather than trying to learn a whole book one time, forget that, uh, uh, break things down, learn one thing, master one thing, then move on to something else. That's how you improve your memory, that's how you improve your learning strategies and techniques. It's like mastering something, a mastering a craft, you do the same movement over and over again, but you're looking for different ways of tweaking it. My friend, this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm saying to you guys out there. This is how you learn more effectively. Did you know that? And do you know what? That is such an insight that I thought I might share with you because I truly believe it's such an important thing to learn and to look for the effective ways of learning so you can effectively develop and grow as a person. Check this out, even with children, rather than reading to them, because some children learn in so many different ways, rather than reading to them, get them to learn one thing, repeat it with them, engage in them, and make it fun and educational. That way, they're going to have learning on lock. And that way, it'll be, it'll be fun. Learning has to be made fun. This is what I'm talking about. Check this out, I'll quickly sidetrack something that I've also learnt in terms of learning. You know what, when you're learning something, learning comes with the territory of belief because what's the point of learning? How many things out, how many of us out there go to college, go to university, learn something but we don't end up implementing it? Or how many things in our life have we been told not to do, to do day to day on a daily basis that we've always been given advice to watch out for this, don't do this, you should do this, you shouldn't do that. But how many of us take heed? How many of us go out there to educate ourselves? But how many of us out there are implementing whatever it is that we learn? Because let me tell you something, guys. It doesn't matter whatever you learn theoretically. If you don't believe in that learning, you ain't gonna follow through and you ain't gonna implement it. That is the core, that is the bottom line. I'll give you a different reference, another reference. You go to uni or you go to school to learn, to grow, to develop, and then you go to uni or college and uni. And after uni, that you're hoping to become very successful and get a well-paid job, right? That's a set of belief that you just enforce upon yourself. See, with learning, you need belief. You need belief, you need leverage to learn. Because if there's no leverage in learning, if there's no belief, no one's gonna learn, no one's gonna want to learn. Because learning is about reaping the rewards, right? That's the leverage, that's part of the growth. Because I want to learn because I know that there's something that I'm trying to attain, get, which is the reward from my hard work and dedication, I'm going to look for a pay of some, some sort, whether it be in like a fulfilling job or wealth 
or just being in the best of health. It's a form of pay. Payment comes in so many different forms, not just in wealth, my friend. This is this is what it is about. This is what learning is about, sorry. It's about attaching belief. It's about attaching leverage because once these two factors are in place, you will learn. If there's none of these two factors which are in place, you ain't gonna learn. That is the core, that is the thing. And also, why is it when we learn something, we don't implement it? Because there's fear, there's fear in if we flop, we're gonna ridic get ridiculed by others. We're gonna flop, we're gonna fail, and then people are gonna laugh at us, they're gonna criticize us, and they're gonna break us. And this is the thing that we fear. Get away from that, my friend, because it all comes part and parcel of the territory of success. The territory of learning is to flop, is to fail, is to grow, and is to learn and to develop because they come in hand in hand, my friend. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm trying to elaborate my message and convey it to you guys out there. Now listen up and listen carefully and wisely, my friend. I want you, you guys out there to just carry on learning, carry on developing in whatever way you can. And it doesn't matter how big or small that you learn, just keep on growing, keep on developing. That is my motivational message for today. And I'm going to leave you with that because I've rambled on and on. So, until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Bye for now.